mobile home tour of her house and I'm gonna pan out this is what you see when you walk in the door and she is going to tell y'all about a few pieces in her home that I don't know the story behind but she does now she's like don't show this don't show this but this is her spot that's where she sits and I'm like you live here everybody's got that spot so if you don't, well, this is real life here, and you'll see it here on my that's channel. Right. We embroider <laughs> there. We relax our foot there. <laughs> yeah, that's where she recoup from foot oh, surgery and all kinds baby of. There. <laughs> okay, so you want to start on that the, the bathroom? Yeah, we'll start down the hall. Okay. So we're gonna show you the bathroom, and we it is customized. This is a it was a three bedroom, two bath mobile home, full baths, but. This bathroom got the shower tub combo was taken out and this was put in here because tell them why mom. The sink from Goodwill. She found the sink at the Goodwill and made my daddy do all this. And this is old also, cabinets. This this cabinets are over a hundred years old. Yeah, they're um so literally. And this was handmade by my wonderful brother in law. Don't notice the dirt or anything. This riser you might know I made for. And then this used to hold butcher paper at the butcher shops. Years, that was years what ago, they'd pull the paper off ago, of. Yeah. And I'm going to pan out so y'all can see everything. And they did put tin on the ceiling to give it that more rustic look. Yeah. They needed to do something with the ceiling. And this was their solution. And I love it. And seahorse was made by some children in Oceans of uh, Gauche uh, out of driftwood. And given to my sister, and she gave it to me since I was doing all this in the... Yeah. So. And she's got a custom-made toilet paper holder. And then we're going to pan around here and then tell them about the window. This was my grandmother's. It was in her kitchen window, and it's priceless. Anything else in this room could go, but this could never. <laughs> And then Mama actually made these. She hand embroidered each one. It's all different types of sea life. There's a frog, turtle, fish. Yes, I did that. So, and then this little cabinet here. Yeah. I actually had it. it to me. And my mother's day. She wanted it. I give it to her to go in here. See, I'm not the only one that gets stuff. But look, y'all, look at the old hardware. I and it was it. perfect, but they did the, my uncle that made the top over here also made this to match. And this didn't come together, but look how perfect. Mm. And that, yeah. that green was the color years and years ago, like when I was a little girl and I'm 69. So 
in my two and three year old, this color must have been the deal. Yeah. So this is the guest bath and you might notice the cords, but that's just part of mobile home living, right, Mom? Yeah, but we're going to get, we're getting plug-ins put. You can believe that. Okay. I know where I need them now. Okay, so coming out of this bathroom is this little hallway. Now, we're not going to go in this room. This is her sewing room, collect all room, tanning room, tan room, closet, everything. So, uh, look, y'all. Y'all might notice these little babies. That's my baby. Oh, that light's right on Delena's face. Let me this see. Is, this is our baby right here. Yeah, and then look <laughs> at Cody. And that's our baby, too. Though. These were taken at Walmart years ago, as you can tell, when they would have the photographers come set up and this is there and then on this shelf on these shelves there's quite a few interesting family pieces you want to point them out oh this cookie jar was my grandmother's mother's mother we always called her mama more and i've eaten many a cookie out of that and it is older than i am this bowl is mama more's and it's older than i am and then that little frog canister growing up mama had our kitchen was done in frogs, and she had the whole set. I the did. I still, creamer, sugar, everything. Yeah, I still have some of the sets. Oh, yeah, okay. I do have some of the sets in there. I should spread that out, maybe. And y'all, we was just going through these old books. I'm dying. She is about to worry me to death. I am dying. Y'all, y'all remember the best man book that I thrifted recently? It's green. I put it in my guest room. Look, she has it in red. Hers is even signed inside. Let me show y'all real quick. If you're not interested, I will I'll... be lucky if I, if she don't leave here with them. No, I'm not. Oh, where's it at? It's right here. Ah, my help. Look, y'all, from Lloyd, August thirtieth, oh nine. This book was copyrighted in oh seven. Seven. And I then think. some of those are eighteen ninety four. They're I think all of them have six something wrote in them, yeah. don't it? Anyway, so this is the little hallway, and then you want to tell them about these pieces? Okay. My little grandmother and my granddaddy was the typical tall, lanky, skinny man, and she was the little short, tubby grandmother. <laughs> this is her dress she made, and oh, Lord, the stories that could tell. And this was her bonnet, and these are the dresses that she made that she literally, people came from everywhere, the little smocked dresses. And they had the slip. You see there, there's a slip underneath that. Yeah. And she did these, and and uh, these were just sought after. And back in the day, little boys and little girls wore these. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. You dropped some little socks from there. That was probably a pair of the socks. I don't, yeah. See how she did the little. She did the little socks too? See, she did the little. Oh my goodness. I, I gotta be careful with that so I don't lose. All right, so then we come out here. Now, where we're at right now, where Mama's standing, was a bedroom. And we took it out. You can kind of see where the... We took all that out. Here's the other part. We, we camouflaged it the best we could. But we took the room out because it was never used. And it opened up and gave them more living space. And so now she has a larger living room. And then... This has a special story, too. You want to tell them? Yeah, my sister's husband that passed away several years ago. This come out of his mother and daddy's home. It is way over 100 years old. She won't give it to me, y'all. Mm -hmm. I tried. She, she tried. I, I... But, y'all, let me show you. You see them chickens right there? <laughs> Hold on. Y'all see them chickens? I let her buy them at the thrift store because she gave me her set that she had when <laughs> for years. They're... I have the original one she had from when I was a child. Yes. And I let her buy them at the thrift store. <laughs> Ain't that sweet, y'all? <laughs> and she fell in love with my candles, so she's got her some. She bought hers off of Amazon. But they really wasn't that bad, but she didn't no. get the deal I did, like, you know, from the thrift store. But anyway, if you'll notice the walls are the beadboard. We replaced all the walls. The mobile home walls are just really thin made out of nothing walls there's no insulation so we insulated and replaced it all with the beadboard we stained the beadboard we put up regular trim baseboards so these walls are very sturdy and well insulated which makes this one happy even though she has central heating and cooling if you'll notice 
We okay. still have a window unit, but that's just her. But you notice the old cotton basket full of blankets? Right. She says cover up. She and ain't turning it cotton, off. That cotton basket is well over 100 years old. She too. won't give it to me. Now I give her this. Yes. I had this, this in is one part of, of my mother's day. I had this in one of my houses. I didn't need it anymore and it worked perfectly for her. This is her one of her mother's and day gifts. This and this. And these, there's these, a story. These are all Mama Moore's plates. I remember every one of them. Some of them are not perfectly, you know, some have cracks. And That's stuff. the best part but of all But it does not matter because it's my Mama Moore's and I will never get rid of them. And Unless if you're like me, I love all the crazing and the cracks yeah. and stuff. It just, I love it. But you have to give me a piece of my memoir, so I'm going to. Well, yeah, and you know, I enjoy you having it because like you say, I get to go to your house and enjoy it. And you get to clean it. Yes. So, win-win. This and is a nice little setting area. And y'all see them chicken lamps? She's had them for years. She won't give them to me. I've tried. <laughs> so, moving on. I'm not bitter. This is mother's. Yeah, that's granny and. That well, day. Aunt Paulette's missing. Aunt Paulette was married and out. Yeah. And that's the only reason. Y'all look at the looked, hairdos. My brother looked so mad because he was mad. Granny, my Uncle Ray, Aunt Connie, yours truly right there, Mama. Oh, Lord, I hated that hair. It was the thing I wanted it to do that day. And then Sue. So. And then y'all notice the valances up here. I bought those years ago and she loved them and had a copy. So I've been an influencer for her for many years. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think your coffee tables and couch was all bought off of Marketplace, oh, right? Yeah, I bought this set of um, end table and coffee table, which I dearly love. I was looking for it, traveled a long way to get it, but I got the couch and the Marketplace. And her couch is identical to mine, and she didn't pay what I paid for it. But I cover it up because you see, baby? Yeah. It's her couch. But the, the good thing about our couches is when I bought it, I bought it specific, specifically for pet friendly. Well, that's good. And they wipe clean, damp rag wipe clean. So. All right, and the old oh, yeah. was given to me by an older man that was just like a daddy to me and that's over a hundred years old. She won't give it to me. And then my uncle made these candlesticks. Yes, he's the one that done the counters in the bathroom. And you might notice a few familiar faces right here. Got my baby and my Benson over there with me. Yeah, my mom Benson. Mama's got family pictures scattered everywhere. Y'all, this is granny. Look, let me get what y'all can see here. Look, right there. That's granny. Can y'all believe that? <laughs> I don't know how old she was. Oh, here. This is Mama Moore and uh, grandmother. So and this, this is this is Mama, Granny, and her two sisters. This is Mama Moore. That's Mama Moore. Okay. That's her mother, right there with a the shawl on. Right here. And then her Mama, Mama Moore's, Moore's sister. two sisters. And then this is Granny right here. Right. And Mama Moore. They were in downtown Mobile. Right. People used to take pictures and make. You you buy because they love you. <laughs> okay, so now on to the kitchen. But first, I love this big, beautiful braided rug. How perfect is that? I know some people would place it under furniture, but I like the way that she just kind of stepped outside of the box and made it work for her. And then over here, we have Bebe's condo. <laughs> and Bebe said we cannot have a tour of it. She's private. <laughs> and then over here, behind yeah. the door... This is my grandpa in Leaksville used to be one of the uh, highest employers of Greene County, Leaksville, Mississippi. And this is a brick from his old sawmill. Wow. That's a brick from Mama Moore's place. And then Mama's just got some cute little people. Look at this little lamp, y'all. And this was, most of Mama's stuff was like either given to her or thrifted, honestly. Oh, let me see. Yeah, yeah this stuff. was a... Goodwill picture, and it just happened to have a blonde headed older sister and two brown head, which my sister is blonde headed, and then my other sister and me are brown headed. So. And then she's got that frame that Delane has brought her some 
Yeah, I've got to get pictures my pictures to fit in. in. And then over here, she's got this set up as a little coffee station. Do y'all notice this? Mm -hmm. How perfect is that? And my utensil, my yeah, she's got extra appliances, her coffee set up. Y'all, this is going to be mine one day. I'm very upset there's no cookies in it because all my life, my mother's had cookies in that, but no, I'm kind of. Daddy has had cookies. Yeah. That. Well, now they, I guess I, they all want a health kick. I don't know. But Donna needs some cookies in the cookie jar. I have some graham crackers. They, I'm telling you, cookies taste better out of that jar. <laughs> they do. Is that a riser? I know you bought that riser, didn't you? I did. And then those chickens you've had forever. Oh, I can remember gosh, home interior. I home interior and I bought them when they first come out with home interior because I've always done chickens and Donna has loved chickens all her life. I used to have live chickens and she would literally sit on a little crate and watch the chickens like she was watching TV. She loved them so much. So I see us. Guilty. And then y'all notice there's a glow back there on that refrigerator. <laughs> well, that's a lamp that I bought, brought for my mom to borrow which is now hers. Hey, it's just a few days after Mother's Day. I mean, what's the shoe? <laughs> and that pot up there is Mama Moore's old pressure pot, pressure cooker pot. Yeah. No telling how old that is. Yeah. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Hold on. Back to the other side. Okay, this is her little desk area. We're still working on the desk. She's, she likes it as stressing, but we want to do something to the top. And we want to change out the handles. Yeah, and the chair. I got the Yeah, and the chair. chair. But for right now, this is her desk. And then James made her this shelf, which holds some special pieces too, such as that little plate up there was mine. I used to eat off that little plate all the time. And then that little broken ear, little, it's a salt and pepper shaker, isn't it? Squirrel. Yeah. I used to sit and play while I, I was so young and the others were off to school and mother had a set of them and I'd sit at the dining room table playing with them like toys. Well, she one broke one of them. Yeah, one of them is gone, but I still got that one. That's my mama's daddy right there when he was in the service. And then that's granny with one of the kids. Yeah, it? somebody. She's holding, I think, her nephew. Okay, and then that's granny's books that she's written. Mm -hmm. And James made mama this shelf one day one year for right mother's day he, right after he made yours so yeah I'm it just kind of on. fell in for mother's day so you're going to see several pieces that i have blessed she has but that's what with. we've always done we yes swap back before we buy something we call and say we're in the market for do you have <laughs> and if we do we we get it yeah that's and smart. then this is is the dining area now there was a lot of changes made in here um, for instance, there's a window that was covered. No, the windows weren't covered up. There was a, a closet um, sliding glass door that was there that she wanted to get rid of. So we took that out and just made this one solid wall. And then where the china cabinet is and around, there was lowers and upper cabinets and a bar top, like counter space. And she wanted to get rid of that. And she wanted this china cabinet to use for like her dishes, a few little onion groceries, some liquor. <laughs> and this has hung in my mother's house all of my life. And like I've given Donna stuff, mother gives me things like that, that I treasure. And I would, that's when in every home I've ever lived in. Yep. And that cake plate up there, my uncle that did the cabinet yes, top, he, he made that. Yes. So she likes having this like this. It works for her. Um, and we totally gutted the kitchen basically and got all new cabinets. And this is how she wanted it laid out. And she has another one of those beautiful rugs. Yeah, it matches the one at the front. And my son won this when he was probably about six years old at the county fair. <laughs> and it's went everywhere. I have. One of those priceless mm -hmm. treasures. My Aunt Anna gave me this. It was, I think, that's roosters. Uh -huh, it looks like it. almost thinking it was turkeys, but I believe that's roosters anyway. She gave me that. And Aunt Anna is Granny's sister that's no longer with us. Yeah. Granny's older sister, I might add. Yeah, the one right over. And then over here on this wall, y'all, this wall has so many. Oh, my. Good. Priceless treasures to our family. I'm going to let her kind of show you the most priceless ones. Well, I guess 
this would be it because you see Delana, that my baby, wearing my apron. Washing dishes. Washing dishes. Standing on a chair. Yes, in my old house. And uh, this was Mama Morris with the beans in it. So you know I wasn't getting rid of this. This was Aunt Ina's dipping uh, during the day they had a bucket of water. Yeah. And everybody drank down the same bucket of water and used the dipper. Well, that was the dipper. Yeah. Okay. This is all my mother's, and she gave it to me. This was actually, this was her sugared thing, and this was actually one of the first two things she started out housekeeping on. Oh, wow. What, where did that blue plate come from? Is it anything? Uh, Paulette gave that to me years ago before she died. It's That's my willow. oldest sister that died, and yeah. I wondered when you was going to get it. But this is one of my first things I started housekeeping with. It was just a little pot. Yeah, like a, yeah. where you put, set a pot on. Yeah, this come from my granny mass and my daddy's family. And then that salt and pepper shaker looks like it goes with the measuring spoon. You know what? I've never noticed that. And I, I bought these. It, they do. Yeah. And look, they even got the little eggs on them. Yeah. And I bought them at a entirely different place. So, who, you know, you just look. And then I bought this for at a thrift store. Right. And that goes perfect up there. Mommy, you was right. You had the perfect spot for it. Uh-huh. See that? See that? Yeah. And I painted those pictures. Yeah, that's when she was into painting. Now she don't do it anymore. This is her laundry area. She just keeps the curtains up there. And we're not going to go in there. But let me show y'all what I have discovered. Mm -hmm. I am not very happy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Y'all see them? No, why ain't I got them? Why she got them and didn't give them to me? But I'm going to let her have it because they're cute right there. But y'all notice this picture? Mm -hmm. That's the one I bought at the Goodwill for like, what, 99 cents or $1.99? Nothing hardly, yeah. And I had the frame, so I put it up there. She wanted it. It goes perfect in that spot. It was made for that spot. And then we happened to find this at a like a little antique mall, that cow. Yeah. And it just went perfect with that. And then I love these little doilies. I don't know why I don't have them. And she does, <laughs> but again... I'm gonna let her slide. She me I do. This is uh, off of my mother used to do canning a lot, and she would use this thing right there. That God, there's no telling what age it is. Yeah. And now we're going into the master bedroom, where we basically we put different flooring. This is all the vinyl plank flooring, and then this is wood. Absolutely love this better though. You do? It's easier to keep up. Really? Yeah. And James made this threshold, y'all. Look mm -hmm. at that. He did that. And we stained it in it. I mean, yeah, I'm not good. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but this bedroom set. Where did you get this bedroom set, Deb? My baby. Did she make you buy it? No. She what? She gave it to me. Mm, this whole bedroom set. So. Yeah. We'll start right here. This is the bed. Now, she does have the adjustable mattresses that, like, recline feet and head and all that. And so, she has always, always loved a chenille bedspread. Always. Yeah. My whole entire life. Yeah. And I think most of our pillow shams are thrifted, though, aren't oh, they? Oh, yeah, all the pillow shams. Are, and the pillow, the, the printed pillow, that one's not. But, um. Uh, but this is, she got those lamps. Where did you get the Lowe's years ago? Yeah, Lowe's. And one of them broke, and I went to a rummy sale and found the other one for ten dollars. Wow! How lucky so, was yeah, you? Yeah, and I grabbed it so fast I couldn't believe it. I just said, "Well, if it don't work, at least just sit there and look good, okay?" Yeah. But, now, real quick before you tell about all this stuff, the walls are the same beadboard that they're painted, and this master bath. That up there used to be open, which I don't understand why they do that. And then there was a closet on each side. You can kind of see a little bit of dent in the sheetrock. They wasn't big enough for me. They wasn't. So we took those closets out, and now they have more room. And we filled that in, so now they actually have more privacy in the bathroom. So that works out better now. This, what do you got over here? My prize possession. There's no need in lying. That picture's went everywhere with me. That was Donna. She wasn't even two weeks old. And I did the little uh, paint technique. Yeah, on that frame. I love board. the dolly, and all this is just stuff thrown together. Room and shell thrifted. All yeah. that, right? Yeah. This I've had since I was a young girl. 
at Mama Moore's. She bought that for me at the dollar store, and I don't even know how much she paid for it, probably 50 cents, but it's gone everywhere too. And this is the original of Mother and Me. Yeah, Mama was only a few days old there, a couple of weeks old. I was old. a couple of weeks old, and Mother was 26 years old. Wow. With five children. And her husband had passed away. And wasn't she a dolly with a wrinkle on that face? Look at it. Granny's husband passed away while she was actually pregnant with my mother. Right. So my mama never got to meet her mm -hmm. daddy. And then Granny never had a boyfriend or remarried. No, she still talks about daddy. She's still in love with him. And every now and then she got pictures of him sitting all around in her bedroom. And she'll go by and she'll just speak to him sometimes and talk to him. It's just a romance. And then where'd you get that chair? I dumpster dived. Dumpster dived. I knew that. I, I thought so, but I yeah. wasn't sure. And then she bought that. Mrs. Crocker is the name of that one from an estate sale, wasn't it? Yes, I did. And Cody has hated it all of his life. Yeah, he does not like it. He's but Mama made these curtains, y'all. Not, the, not the lace, but the panels. She actually made those. And again, we have another window unit because this she's hot. This is my bedroom, and I like it cold. And she has some more of these beautiful rugs. Where'd you get them, Amazon? Um, maybe I did get these from Amazon. There's one there yeah. and there. And then she Facebook Marketplace this trunk. But let me show y'all this. Granny does. Oh my goodness. Look what Granny does and she gives them to me. And I've got every one she's ever given me. She made this little hanky. Oh look, Donna. That's and, cute. And that, look at that, isn't that precious? And that's Delana's. I know she'll never want it, but it's No, hurts. she won't. But wouldn't that be pretty in my guest room? You want that for your guest mm -hmm. room? I might. Because that, that is old. I bought that for her when she was very young. Yeah, she was like six or eight months oh, old. Oh, God, it's not old at all. And just little... Smell this good. is so pretty in here. Yeah. And, I lo and look, she just gave me these a couple of weeks ago. Aww. And all of that is full of... Of, uh, some curtains I see, but anyway, yeah. Priceless treasures in the chest. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yep. And then on the armoire, there's a lot of priceless treasures here as well. Yes. Um, look at this. Mama loves that picture of Buster. So He's she had the man. He was taking care of things. And up here, this is the anniversary clock uh, that was my grandmother's, Mama Moore. And I've it was in her house all my life, and I got it. This is Mama and Papa and their firstborn son. This is just a little, little trinket. trinket. Oh my gosh! Look, little knives. Y'all, I don't have none of this. And look, this was Mama Moore's mother's little change <gasps> pocket. Look. Little. And this was Papa's wallet when he died, and Mama's wallet when she died. <gasps> And my papa, which was Mama Moore's husband, used to shave with this. Oh my gosh. And then wasn't that his old tobacco tin? That's his old tobacco tin and that's his old snuff thing. You see, and it's got something in it, but I would never, ever take it out. It's got a coin. It's got a coin in it. It's got it? probably a couple of them in there, but it'll never come out and I'll never get rid of it. And this was the brick off their fireplace. Oh, wow. So, see, I mean, this is a giving y'all, hopefully this is giving y'all some ideas of how you can display your family treasures. I love it. Because, I mean, this is our history, honestly. Yeah, you know, and it, it's not expensive. It would be worth nothing to anybody else. None of this would be of a value. But to me, it's priceless. It's priceless. I would never. The ever. only one you would ever give it to is who, Ma? You. Mm. because it would be that way for you now she's going to get some outlets over here so she can plug this lamp and stuff up and then james has got to yeah finish the pieces for that um he's got the templates so he's got to do that well this chair was bought at a goodwill and it was literally all to pieces but it was an anniversary gift from eddie and so he got it recovered for me and the beautiful bird print y'all yeah. we have always loved birds and yeah. we get that from granny we get that from granny and this little table we've swapped it back and forth yeah. so many times but i'll show them this this lamp is not one of those fake that is the real mccoy like in the 40s and 30s movies and things yeah where'd you get this beautiful print on the wall Oh, uh, that I got at a rummy sale for 
Wow. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. Yeah. And it's perfect. And got actually all this at a run. I think trail. I gave you the bird thing, didn't I? This? Is that the, no. No, that. You did give yeah. me that, and I had to buy the little thing, and I got that at a run and sell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Birds. We love birds. I love the way you got the dolly off to the side like that. Did I teach you that? No. Or did you teach I me that? I taught you that probably. Okay. Look. Look at my bed ornament. That thing, y'all. Now, let me show y'all. Y'all see this? Y'all remember that? She copied me, but that's okay. We I copy each it. other. That's her big chicken that I bought that I did the paint technique on. That's a bit of greenery. And then behind it, when the lights are off, we got some lighting. So, that's that. Now, I'm going to take y'all into the master bath, and we completely redid it. So now this is the master bath. Hold on, let it focus. Okay, now we totally gutted it and basically started over because it was just, you'll have to tell them how it was. Well, there was a garden tub here and a linen thing there. And uh, I decided I wanted a shower. Yeah. And they've dug me the rod out like that. And we've got to do the painting of the trim. Yeah, well, that's your job. Yeah. And then fix me this where I can just check my clothes and things. Yeah, and then this and was base. this, the vanity was here, but we took the linen cabinet and put it here beside it. And then James finished that out. Um, and then over here, there was a closet. There was a door, a wall right there. And right inside here was a shower. Oh. Uh, and then we took it out. Y'all took all this out. Yeah, opened it all up. I was so glad because I hated all that yeah. closure. Yeah. And honestly, y'all, another reason we did it, if you're in a mobile home, this might be something to bear in mind. Old age, wheelchair accessible, walker accessible, oh. all of that. Because, I mean, it's this just... scooter accessible. And it come in handy when you had had your surgery exactly. and was on your scooter, wasn't it? I could get in there with ease. Yeah. yeah. And then she had her toilet paper designed from the Waffle House, y'all. But I had to put the front on it because baby would be tired up if it was there. And then y'all yeah. see this big, beautiful picture here? Where'd you get that, Deb? I got that from my baby. I give that to her. Y'all, I've had every design style ever she in has. my houses. And we just keep swapping it back and forth to each other. Hey, I, that's what I'm telling you. you, you and then a lot of this is thrifted. Bird. Yeah. This was even thrifted, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. That was Marketplace. Marketplace. Yeah, I had to have another... Mother's Day. Yes, I love that stuff. That's her favorite. But, yeah. And then, uh, this is so cute. Didn't I give you that? And you painted it gold. It was silver. Yeah. She painted it and gold. got to get me a picture to go in that little chair. Yeah. I love that little frame. Lana's seen that she'll probably have to have it. But this is the master bath. And then, this beautiful rug. I love the way she's used that. Well, you so. know, you can take and uh, you do your style. And I do my bedroom and bathroom different from in front because it's all cozy and everybody can be comfortable. But, you know, the woman thing comes out in. Little you. romance. Little romance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, look. That's thrifted. Yeah. I was with you when you thrifted that. Mm -hmm. And probably that basket's thrifted, too. It is, it? yeah. That uh, McCoy... Face is thrifted and it's probably dust everywhere. Well, it won't look too close. Yeah, no, well, thank you for letting us come into your home and show all of your prized possessions. And well, I'm sure people get some ideas because I, I like to see these kind of things because you can always pick up little pieces here or there. Even if it's not the same style, you can adapt the idea right. to fit your style and maybe display your... Well, I will tell you this. I am older and I lived in a house that covered an acre just about it. And I'm much more happier in this trailer that I can keep clean even through surgeries and stuff like that. I'm happy because y'all saw the outside, the... Uh, the creek, creek and the trees and the I love it here. Yeah. So and she definitely downsized from about a four thousand square foot home oh, yes. to what's this, a sixteen by eighty? Sixteen by eighty plus yeah, sixteen by eighty. Yeah. And I love it. I would never go back to a big house. Well, when we did all see in here we did the same thing with the beadboard walls. We 
you know, we fixed all the trailer walls because eventually you may not start out. And I don't know that they're doing trailers. They're making them better quality nowadays. I don't I know. No idea. But, but we've swapped it. You know, we did the flooring all the way through into here. Did all the beadboard wall. And I think this is half inch or three quarter inch beadboard. I'm no, not sure. I wanted good, whatever he got. But I also, um, this place is just as tight and as well made as a house now. And even in a hurricane, I wouldn't be afraid. Yeah. But now, tornado, don't matter where you at. It don't matter. Well, thank you, Ma. You're welcome. Hope y'all enjoy. Mm -hmm.